Hey guys, this is Mickett, and I'm just going to uh, do a, uh, a quick uh, replay of something I was asked uh, what this attack that I've been doing lately is called and, and how do you go about doing it and what am I thinking with it. Uh, and it's called an AQ charge. I'm not the one who came up with it for sure. Other people have done it. It's not real uh, popular across the, um, across the uh, uh, war attacks. However, it, it has its place and I think one of the reasons why it fits well for what we're doing is it as long as you don't mess up the beginning of it, it virtually guarantees a two star and uh, it has a very good chance at a three star as well, although I'm still learning it, so I'm still new at it. So let me go through and just run through the basic mechanics of it. The basic idea is you gotta have a high level archer queen. Um, mine is 25 right now. Ideally, you'd like to have a 30 um, because the, the biggest, the pluses and minuses, the pluses is what I said before, is that it, you use your um, queen's basic, uh, uh, abilities as well as a ton of healers uh, six in this case sometimes you can go with five uh, you use that to basically just tank through the entire base uh, the downsides to it is you really do have to have a high level archer queen because it tends to be slow uh, the higher the archer queen you can get through just a shot or two faster through each defense adds up very quickly you ideally should have like a level 20 or 25 barb king as well i do not i have a 15 so i have to accommodate for that accordingly because uh, you want to try and get uh, part of the base with the barb king as well uh, the basic gist of it is you're going to go in and tank with your uh, archer queen with the healers and she basically can't go down uh, that's not quite true because she can win the cc troops and especially if a dragon or something comes out of there she can go down however you you bring a heal excuse me you bring a, a rage spell so you rage the queen and the healers and they can keep her sustained as well as you can use your ability when you need to uh, and you you basically are going to take her in there and you're going to get through a mess of the the walls uh, with earthquake spell, spells because you don't need the other spells but in a certain sense it's kind of like you can bring loons or hogs uh, for the the tail end uh, but it's it's kind of like a half and half base. You're, you're going through half the base with your archer queen and everything else goes goes through with your uh, barb king and your hogs. Uh, the barb, or excuse me, the, one of the things you're trying to do is you're trying to expose the double giant bomb areas. You can see it like for example in this one we're looking at there's double giant bomb areas over here on the left, uh, on the bottom left, on the top right, and that on the top or bottom right that can't be a double giant bomb spot. And so what I've done is I've choose, chosen to look at this uh, from and take it from the left side, uh, partly also based on where the air sweepers are, because they will push the healers back, and that can be problematic. Uh, also, you don't want to try and approach too many things at, at the same time. I can go through more mechanics in the time, but let's go ahead and take a look at this, this and I'll kind of talk as I go through this. So just running this now, we have uh, the Archer Queen is going to go down on the left side here, and I'm going to drop all the healers behind her. Uh -huh. And ideally, you want to have the healers so they don't get shot at, obviously. Um, the tricky part, and I throw down a couple extra minions there, because I'm going to come in there with my Barb King, and I want to get rid of some of that uh, riffraff uh, junk buildings up at the top there first. So you can see, I'm just letting it work in. Now I'm letting that mortar shoot once, and then I'm going to bring in wall break into this wall here. You see I've created a funnel. I could use wizards. I did not need to, really, that much in this case. That's why I picked that spot. But you can see she's working her way in. I'm going to drop those Earthquake spells. It's going to take all those walls. You can see how much of the base is now open to Archer Queen. Uh, using the Wizards and the Minions just to try and get rid of some of those buildings while they can't be hit. Pretty soon I'm going to, as soon as the CC comes out, you got to wait for that. And then you can bring your Barb King and your Golem. And the Golem just tanks for the Barb King. And they go in and take out the Archer Queen. We'll see in just a second here. I bring in that one just to draw out the CC a little faster because I'd rather deal with them before I deal with everything else. So here it comes. Unfortunately, that Tesla pops right at the same time. I should have used my ability first, but I didn't. But it works out. Takes care of all these buildings. And with those healers on the Archer Queen, it's an incredible uh, buff to her uh, healing. So nothing can take her down then. Not even this Barb King, although my heat, my uh, spell is going to wear out my rage. Now I'm going to come through with the Golem. I'm going to try and make this funnel so this Barb King goes straight in and takes down that Archer Queen. And 
just this is a time when you're just sitting there waiting. What do I do? I, I throw in an extra hog there just to kind of make it a little faster. Then here come my hogs. Now, one of the weird things about this, cast, uh, this attack is, of course, that, uh, and you notice I'm using a uh, surgical, I, I bring those uh, giants in first. Um, one of the weird things about this attack is that you don't really expect the, heal, or, excuse me, the hogs to really live through it. They're just supposed to take down those defenses so I can start dropping these wizards and minions behind and take down all the extra buildings. The queen will work through the entire thing. If you had an extra minute, she'll work through the entire base but um, she doesn't have time to do that, so you have to try and get rid of those defenses, uh, which allows you then to bring in the, uh, the wizards and the minions from backside. And you can see the level 15 Barb King. He's just gonna get shot down here. If he was a level 25, he would have already been way ahead of this because if he has more DPS, but also he would survive longer. Not much left here, just gonna take down the last few buildings, and I believe I had about 15, 20 seconds left on this at the end. Uh, so anyways, they don't always work out that well. A lot of times they end up at like 90% because I'm still working on it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you click like and subscribe and keep on clashing.